But uh, China Doll at the time had lost her son. He was two years old. He had mm. died from cancer. Mm. And experiencing that, that was the first time I ever experienced a child, you know, going right. through that trauma. And I was yeah, there wow. as a good friend with her. That's what I'm saying. So our life had so many journeys, twists and turns. So then some things that we start putting together, we never like really finishing to do. Yeah. But, you know, right. see, movement is worldwide and our career is strong like a river. Women coming together, we never safe for the power. Atlanta Inglewood is searching for a connect out in Iowa. Memphis, hmm. Tennessee, Lafayette and Lake Charles is uh. down. Wait, go to Dallas all the way back to G-Town. Uh. See, movement, I was screaming loud. Houston, Texas is, is the base and it's my hometown. I was moving too so fast, had to slow it down. Yeah. For the industry to catch up with my sound. Yeah. So if you ain't signed to my page, you need to link to me now. Got a catalog loaded that impressed the crowd. I'm a businesswoman first, like a boss chick. And I'm a royal hustle look like Lady Emery the Rich. I told you. Man. <laughs> I told you I'm a bad chicken. I'm Man, a solo mama. Yeah. I'ma please my fans while you keep the drama. Mm. Nobody wanna hear women plexing all the time. Mm. So you can hit me on my page and see a real woman shine. Mm. Ain't no internet rapper, I'm a vet in the game. Mm. I'm Money with my mouth deals for full of fame. Come on. And I'ma help those in need even if I got no change. Mm. She movement together can help the hunger pain. Shed somebody mm. from the rain. It's bigger than rap, it's bigger than the game. It's bigger than the streets calling out your name. It's all about the love that we use in vain. Mm. That cause us to say life is a struggling pain. It lead us to doing the wrong things. Money is the object distracting our brains. Beefing on tape, turn rap into a game. Mm. And now the numbers in the murder statistics and change. I repeat to my fam that we lost in the game. Mm. Stand with a purpose and get on the train. Mm. Now you're overly Christian sinners that be judging rappers and rappers wrong. How could mm. you talk about my life and heard a word in my song? Mm. Come man, on, that, man. That, that, I have to remember y'all. That yeah, came, from, on that one, that came man. back from Shut way up. back then. I was yeah. like, do I remember? But it was just there. Wow. Because I meant what I said. Yeah. You feel me? Man, that's you got goosebumps on that one. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, now I love that too, and I love your energy though. That you, you know, you just come off with it just yeah, off the river. Right. Yeah, look, yeah. But I better slow down. Like I said, I'm moving too fast. I have to slow it down. It's just like, shit, do I remember the verse? Because <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I be on the stage, y'all. Y'all probably never get it because I be so crunk. I'm Man. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I, you, you rap, you be rapping sometimes too. You yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. When you start yeah. rapping it in, you like. In the, the world did the, the <laughs> Well, it's the world. <laughs> y'all lying if y'all no, ain't seen y'all ain't the experience. The rehearse 50 million times and still get on the <laughs> stage and be like, what I say right there? And I Damn. Promise, and then I, gotta <laughs> I promise you, it gets me every first time that I ever like. I can feel like I know the song in the presence of talking to you, right? Mm -hmm. And it's the first time that I ever perform a song that I may experience something like that, to be honest. So, you know, legends fuck up too. Yeah. But, but you never know, though. But the, legends, hey, that's, we that's still the glory lie. of it, though. <laughs> Being raw and just we human, man. And I do you know? something else. That's yeah. why you got to have something to make up for. You don't never just stop in the middle of your show and be like. <gasps> yeah, 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 right. You might just start talking or you know, something you know, and point. start talking to the crowd or wave your hands in the air. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and guess what they gonna do? They gonna get in. Yeah, already. They already. don't know who messed up. So yeah, right. Exactly. Jim, Jim, uh, another another one. Y'all better take these gyms. We giving y'all a little game because uh, a lot of y'all need some practice. Nah, All right. For real. And right. I, and I uh, I also thought it was powerful too uh, with the sheep movement um, that y'all actually was able to to raise money and like cover the funeral like oh, for a couple wow. of guys you bring that it had, all this stuff I forgot yeah about. it's crazy man i was like Ooh. wow man like that's pretty okay. deep man and profound yeah oh my god i love you q for this i mean this stuff that when i have conversations with y'all y'all bring back to my memory because yeah. i do things from my heart and, and don't even be remembering sometimes that i did this until i see the people yeah so um, as y'all can see, it, what I'm talking about, obviously, my life is, and not probably a lot of our lives now, but even so back then, it's mm. been surrounded by a lot of transitions of our brothers and sisters that was on this journey with us yeah. that's not here anymore. So mm. we're blessed. Yeah. Blessed Straight to still up. be here. Straight up. Yeah. OG, whatever you want to call up. Wow. But it's clean, baby. It's Miss Houston to you, though. Okay. <laughs> now, so check this out. Seriously, <laughs> um, with She Movement... Um, oh my God, I, I just never forget. China was out there on the block with me. Mm. Uh, we were raising money for the family for our brother, Big Tantrum. Mm. R.I.P. the Big Tantrum. I remember him. That was Big Tantrum. Big Tantrum. My yeah. brother had passed from um, yeah. occurrence in the mm. Surfside Beach, I believe. He's at Surfside. Mm. And he was fishing out with his children. Mm. And I don't know if it was wow. his child's birthday or his birthday. 
But it was somebody's family then. They went out. He went out there with his children. His children witnesses. Mm, children. And he was screaming for help. And his cousin jumped in the mm, ocean mm -hmm. to help him. I guess he went out there, you know, probably about waist deep or whatnot. They were fishing. And so y'all be careful. I hear when y'all traveling Man, and up. across the world, everybody going to the Maldives and doing all kind of, you know, trips and stuff. But this is serious because black people don't really know how important it is to have education on the ocean while we just out at the beach. Yeah, but come on. however, our brother went out there to fish and a current took him under. Mm. And his cousin jumped in to help him. Mm. And the current took, took him, him too. Mm. So there were two deaths in that wow. situation. Damn, that's deep. Yeah, shout yeah. out to his his brother. He a pastor now too. I call him Black Um Crumby, that last name. Um, he, he's still out here doing this thing, but he always reminds me, like, I never forget what you did, yeah, you know. And, yeah. and to me, it was just an action of my, it was a response. It wasn't, you know, I'm not trying to get cliche known and then like that. You know, right, you right, that right, 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 right. So seriously, I'm glad you brought that up because that's something I haven't thought about in a minute. But we went out there in the middle of Harm Clark, where he's from, mm. and we raised money literally on the corners. Mm. Everybody was posted on four corners. My sister China Doll was out there with her baby that had mm. cancer at that time in the stroller, mm. and we were all raising money. And his family came out, they raised money, and then I put on an event mm. that was at Club Taylor's. Yeah, that you know donations at the door that was for the family and. We were all, um, we did that as well. And, you know, just to kind of help with, um, you know, paying for the funeral costs and stuff once they did find his body because they didn't find his body to weigh wow. in. Hungry, right. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, y'all, it's, it's a journey. It's yeah. Like it's a journey. Sure. So this is why you got to pay respect for the, pay respect to your history, man, because people that came before us opened up doors for you to nah, do what you're doing up. right now. Straight I mean, up. Seriously. And I love you for that, man. Humanitarian, you know what I'm saying? Just activists in the community. And, uh, you know, put just basically really putting yourself last or on the back burner to, man, to help so many people, man. I that's, did. That's awesome. I honestly did, and I'm working on that right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm, you know, kind of preserved. I know a lot of people don't see me as much as they, they used to, mm -hmm. you know, online, whatnot, and doing interviews all over the place, shows all over the place. No, uh, it got to be real, real. When I say real, real special, it got to be special to me, not special to the industry and doing stuff for everybody else. I did that for over 20-something years. Mm, yeah. You know, so now it has to be special for me. Yeah, for absolutely. Me, it has to be. No, that's right. Me. Yeah, it's for the sure. It's the reason why I'm at the me. number yeah. one spot because Already. I know <laughs> that I am no less than number one. <laughs> and my brother always, I knew I would have been the first guest Already. on the show Already. when he first started if I wasn't going through what I was going through. Come on, now. I'm, I'm just claiming my number one spot back. <laughs> this is the first show with a number one spot right now. No, just wait. <laughs> <laughs> Man, now nah, straight up though, man, we had to uh, reach out to you, man. Like anything else would have been uncivilized, you know, on that. And uh, I think we changed the game even back then, doing a whole storyline and that whole deal. But yeah, that but, was so dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was different. Yeah, it, it was just yeah. fun. It was it was cool how you did that with your show. Yeah. By like, even though you were playing other. Houston artist videos so we could be known out there. You right. were playing videos, but in between the videos, you had this storyline. Yeah, that I already was had this idea. Yeah. I love your creative mind with Thank that. Thank you. Thank and you. It, that's why it's so crazy to me that when you sh when you shot positive yeah. for me, that I didn't think about you filming it. Mm. A lot of people don't mm. know that. Yeah. Somebody else was scheduled to film it. Yeah, right. To hire you. Right, exactly. To use Hazen House. Yes, yes. And to use the place. Right. And then when that situation didn't work out, it was like, and you, I'm like, do you even film anymore? I don't even know. I yeah. didn't even know. Yeah, right, 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 right. And right. you're like, yeah, I do all that. I'm like, I got to do better at promoting myself. Why am I going outside <laughs> of the place that I already paid to book? Yeah, you know? come on. <laughs> And then what I thought was live too, how, you know, like I say, you know, like I say, God don't make no mistakes and how it came back full circle that we had that footage from you and your dad bro, from bro. Your, your birthday party you, and stuff like that. Like, bro. I was like, oh, bro, it was divine. Me. I dropped the phone. Like, the phone was hot. I had no idea because he didn't tell me, y'all, when he shot this video and at the end he has the only footage that I have of me and my dad mm. dancing and dancing too. Mm. That was all that mm. And good spirits and laughing and That's smiling and really stuff. It really captivated yeah. what I needed that I still look at to this day. Yeah. And if I tell you 
I didn't have any any footage. My daddy wasn't no phone person like that. And when I go over there, we laugh and talk, and he fixing on the car. I ain't thinking about <laughs> no live or no phone, you know, with my dad. Yeah. But I, I took a lot of pictures, but I didn't have any video footage. And and I, as I was thinking through the process, I was like, because I looked at a picture that probably popped up of my beautiful metal album, and it said 4K films at the bottom. Mm. And I was like, mm. Quincy Nell shot. That was at my daddy's birthday thing. And what I called and asked was, did you have any pictures? Mm -hmm. And you was like, oh, yeah, I think I probably can look back. And this has been over seven years, Yeah, come on. So then he's like, I may have some footage or something or whatever. But I, even though he said, yeah, man, I'm like, people don't keep the footage. He probably ain't. I know he's going to call back and say he ain't got it. <laughs> he didn't even say none of that. I mm. just, he sent me a proof of my video, y'all. Mm. And then at the end, on the television screen, my daddy popped up with me and him dancing. I dropped the phone and just was bawling. <laughs> you did that. That, that, was, that was very special. Thank that you. was very thank special. You. And thank you for and that. And thank you. Thank you, you know, for, like I, I said, for I don't believe coincidence is God aligns things. Yeah, absolutely. But even back then, and yeah. not to say that we worked together. Right. Cons right. Consecutively and all the time. Yeah, yeah. You know? It'd be off and on, but it's when it's on, it's on right, right on time. time. Yeah. Ooh, come on, God. <laughs> come on, God, do it. Nah, straight up though. Oh man, Every shout time. out to the to the man. Um, but we, I just want to bring it back and bounce it around again. But um I want to talk about well, I'm just curious to know. I've always wanted to know this. How did you become uh, uh, I guess a member of the SUC and the SPC. Right, right. Cause yeah, I like you the only, only one only ever. Only female yeah. that is affiliated with both. Yeah, of, for real. Of Houston's legendary Man. groups. Come on. Okay? Come on. This is this is facts and it's Come truth. On. So y'all get y'all notepads out. Y'all hearing it from the horse's mouth, not from nobody else and not after I die. Yeah, huh? I'm here. Mm. Okay? And SUC came about through DJ School himself. Mm, it wasn't mm. me being affiliated with all the other people that surround him rapping or whatnot. But after meeting DJ School myself, mm. it was just a family type thing for me. I'm just curious them. though, real quick, just a sidebar, just mm -hmm. hold that thought. But how did, how did you meet? DJ Screw. DJ Screw. Like, how did that I, I come about like that? I honestly don't remember how we actually first It'd met. be like that sometime, though. I don't remember yeah. the first initial meeting with me and DJ Screw because mm -hmm. I just assumed back then, being a music artist coming up in the game, we all was coming up. So mm -hmm. we all always was in the same spaces. Gotcha. Like, gotcha. always gotcha. in the same clubs. If we yeah, and that is true. I, Even I was, still today, though. Yeah, yeah because yeah. when I was very young, like 14, 15 years old, like, I always give Body Boys the credit. Shout out to my boy D Red, my boy Head. Um, shout out to Will Lane. Shout out All to right. um, C, -Note. C Note. Yeah, free C Note. Um, because they they opened the door for me. It was different back then than it is today with yeah. people. Nobody's open the, opening the doors for the new generation yeah. that I, yeah. you know. Mm, um, mm. I don't see it. But um, I, I, they, they opened that door for me. Like when they had a song and they were already kind of they were known throughout the community and screw tapes mm -hmm. and and I'm telling you it was this one line and I say this all the time I never forget what is it D Red I know you say <laughs> baby we stand <laughs> what is it head <laughs> real talk baby we stand huh. you know what I'm saying huh. that's all I said on that Bonnie Boy song and I can't remember the song y'all gotta y'all gotta remind me though but y'all know the legendary Bonnie Boys thought them many ways no, already to get, get paid get, get paid, paid. Get oh. paid. <laughs> so, and I'm so proud of all my brothers with what I see that they're doing out there as OGs in this music industry but just taking on I know my brother D-Red is doing stuff with uh, Sickle Cell um, Foundation and yeah, stuff like that wow. I've wow. seen my That's brother awesome. out putting in community work yeah. not at the club like we used to but, you know just seeing that we take our positions and we advance and like you're yeah. supposed to grow with music That's weird. yeah for sure for sure so so just being in the same facilities i believe and i think I, we were just all connected we didn't really look at each other as or maybe i should rephrase that we did Look at each other as superstars. Yeah, absolutely. Put each other I'm gonna on rephrase that, it, right? Because I'm gonna say we didn't yeah. look at each other like, oh, that's such and such, or this such and such. We, but we did because I we we each honored other each such. other's space yeah, in the game. Yeah, And it absolutely. was like, hey, yeah. what's up, deep body boys? Here? Yeah. Big pokey. What's yeah, up? Come like, on. <laughs> everybody like we were excited. Then coming through that, I went through this 
new era of everybody's kind of like, mm, who is they? Who is they? You know? Right, they, right, we right, had right. Clicks yeah. back in the game, but the clicks were supportive of one Yeah, another. absolutely. Not absolutely against, wasn't no. Not against uh, one another. What they call it, the crabs and the barrel syndrome. It's like everybody it was wasn't, up. It was not what we all was trying to come yeah. up. And no, we had north side, south side. Right. But that's right, different. If right. the north side was stealing cars from the south side, right, right, right. right. Be, had, if you take stuff from somebody, it's gonna be that type of click the plex. No, don't go on that side of town. They be stealing stuff over there. Yeah, south right. South side right, over right. here, we chill. We like back. And everybody, you know, that was just kind of the stereotypical thing of the north and south side, but as far as clicks in the music industry. Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. So just just back yeah, to that uh, though, and yeah. you you linked up with Screw, and so, so yeah yeah my bad yeah I, mean, I, I, yeah. I I had been knowing Screw before I ever got on the Screw. Okay. Track. Yeah. So at gotcha. this point, we've all been you know chilling and like being at different events and shows together and supporting as a clique. That's because gotcha. that's what we from. This right we right on right on. So we all just there, but when the for, the first Screw take that I got on came mm -hmm. about. And was that the Can't Nobody Show No Love? Was it that song or you had a, another song? However, those were songs that DJ Screw had put in the mix mm, before I ever mm. even went to a schoolhouse and gotcha. did freestyle. Gotcha, gotcha. So he took my singles mm. from back then and, I, and, and a lot of that connection was through um, um, the people that was financing and the, my homeboys that, are, that was my security at the time, you know, Real Street Action. Yeah. Oh, it was my homeboy uh, Snoop. And PAT, it was mm. not not Fat Pat because he had passed by this time. But um, PAT actually had one, yeah, he had just passed at that time. But PAT was Pat Woods. That's my brother. Welcome home. He back now. So um, they were going to schoolhouse. They were connected like that. And they were like cliche, you know. We going to schoolhouse and we want you on our school tape. Huh? And I'm huh. like, okay, cool. I'll just come through there. See the thing about yeah. the thing yeah. about cliche and DJ Screw. Mm -hmm. Screw was this slow, and cliche was this fast. Yeah. <laughs> so we, I missed a whole bunch of school sessions, and I honestly could have been on a whole lot more school tape. So when Snoop and Pat called me because we working on the same team as far as my label with Afterlife Music Entertainment and my first album, Classified Lady Out. Right on. They they doing the school tape. I'm gonna come through because that's my team. Yeah. So I come through, even though it was a 24 hour process. Ashley ain't come through. Ashley DJ School had picked me up during this night. I never forget. Uh, school them picked me up, and. It was the night of Gator's uh, service. I think mm -hmm. it was the service or the night that he passed. Yeah. It oh, probably wow. was the night that he had um, passed. Because my, my screw verse in there, I'm, I'm saying R.I.P. to Gator. And mm -hmm. I'm talking about this from Father. Mm -hmm. I hate to see him leave us this way. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? He had All that had just happened. That's what happened. Yeah. See, wow. I speak in time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. You know? Yeah. And, and during this, that's how I remember. I'm like, I, I said it in my song, so it was that night. So we were all together. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, this first time I'm not riding my car. I and he said Maximum back in, in that time. And I want to say this was, this, this was 1999. And um, we, we met up at uh, Smudge. House that's see mm. no daddy. Mm. Mm. We were over there. I think that was see no daddy or, or Gator. Yeah, because that's his family. That was his right. his, cousin, right. his nephew, uh, his daddy and nephew or something like that. And um, I just remember going back to schoolhouse one day <laughs> <laughs> and recording the next day. But we we still in the session. The yeah, session ain't come on now. And it started one time. Three in, three in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> it was no, so it fast. Was the next <laughs> About seven o'clock in the morning when come I recorded on, my verse. Come on. The following day yeah. from that night we came back to schoolhouse because I had went to sleep off the studio foam on the floor and then they like, hey, we ready for your verse. That was yesterday. How else? <laughs> like I tell everybody, I tell everybody, for me, like, even though as crunk as I was, I didn't I didn't smoke, I didn't drink. Yeah. You know? yeah. However, a lot of my Man, brothers and sisters that's around good. us, they did. Yeah. But I didn't. I was the only sober one. Yeah. <laughs> but I, and again, the sad part about it is, I was on this over one. So they wake me up and like, hey, it's time for your verse. My verse. Now you ready for my boy school? I was like, hey, bro, you ain't got to school me up. My boy's already school. All right. I, I remember saying because I was sitting there like, started out as a crumb. I'm a big time baller. Huh. South side still holding and it ain't no lie. Huh. I'm like, bro, you ain't got to school me up. He's like, all right, bring it back. Totally amazed me how Screw did that um, yeah. during that time. Yeah. How he was recording. We didn't have Yeah, it wasn't digital, didn't have computer, like it was. Right? Yeah, right, so right. So he allowed me to do alias, but when I started with working with Rock Cash, I started off in the digital and I had multiple tracks. So that's what right. I knew. I didn't know that they couldn't do it 
But it wasn't that Screw couldn't do it. He was doing it, but not with the computer. Right. So that was like, yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm like, can I get another track? Yeah. yeah. He like, yeah, hold on. Let me rewind this. He rewind the track. <laughs> put on the recording. So kept did. my vocals yeah. on there. Yeah. And then I add, that's how you can hear the ad libs on there. So that was live. I'm so blessed and I'm so glad that um, God ordained it to happen like that because that was the only freestyle that I actually got on the, on, on the school tape. And mm. if, if what didn't take place and mm. transpired how I did, yeah. I wouldn't have been on that one just because my lifestyle was different and I was fast. I didn't, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, right. Y'all take all that and record. I'm gone. Yeah, you know, yeah, was, yeah, yeah, right, that right, was me. right, right. That right. was me. And back then I was really fast. Yeah. I was gone. I had stuff to do. I got stuff to do. <laughs> Y'all ain't stopped recording yet. I'm gone. So everybody knew me. I was super high. Yeah. I, like I was high off life. Though. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, right, right. My fans right. thought but I used to smoke weed and though. all that. Listen. Yeah. That was the whole it's thing. It's bad when your fans and your people think you used to smoke weed because you just that crunk. Right. Come on now. No. Out of all things I, you can think of. I didn't smoke weed. I never tooted powder. Huh. I never sipped drink. Let me I, let, let me be fast. Let me give y'all the transfer. When I say I didn't smoke weed, I've hit weed before, but I wasn't a weed smoker. I've never yeah. bought a, a weed. I'd wake uh, up early in the morning. In and I gotta get my waking back. And, no, yeah, I've hit yeah. it before. I didn't uh, smoke dro zero before in the car because he there and I'm his girl. So you know, you pass. You know, you pass on y'all. I'm sorry.